Hi, welcome to Classroom Screen. In today's video guide, we're going to talk about the timetable widget. We can locate the timetable and activate it by clicking on this icon in the widget bar. Once it's present on the screen, let's pick a corner or a side to enlarge it from, and then get it repositioned. Now we'll just click on Open Settings to get busy adding some activities. To establish a quick little schedule, let's start by adding four activities. For each activity, we can enter a name just here. And if we want to add a photo to the activity, we can click the plus button next to it and open up the pictogram library. Here, we can scroll through a large collection of random images, but it's also possible to search keywords up at the top for a targeted outcome. Now that we have a plan ready to go, it might make sense to rename the list. We can toggle off the default What's Going On Today title, shown at the top or we can modify it all together. Our schedule is currently showing a checklist display and with this option, it's possible to just click on the box here to cross off an item once a task is completed. Otherwise, in case the day is more structured, we can switch the configuration of the widget to present in a time schedule format from the settings. It might be best to activate a clock widget right now so we can see how things correspond. And then we'll just reopen the settings after we get this situated. So with this setting, we can adjust the start time of an activity you perhaps have an afternoon class and we can also adjust the activity duration with this option it gives more flexibility in case things don't go exactly according to plan if students need more or less time for an activity you can make incremental adjustments or click on this button to add a break The incremental adjustments can be made in minus five or plus five. And we can also move the break around or move an activity around. And with the break implemented, you notice that it simply puts off the start time of the next activity. So there's a half an hour between reading and snack now that the break is introduced. Once an activity ends, you'll hear an alarm sound and then a check mark appear. And the alarm sound can be adjusted in the settings here. In case you need to change an activity name or image, you can just go right back here and modify that. Or delete the activity altogether if you no longer want it present on the timetable. So that's all for now. Thank you for joining us. We hope to see you next time.